Hi, thanks for joining us today. My name is Rich Harrington, and I'm the Chief Product Evangelist for Skylum Software. We're taking a look at the new Luminar AI. It's the world's first image editor that's fully powered by artificial intelligence. It's photo editing with artificial intelligence used throughout the entire process. You get awesome results, but you also get them in far less time. With Luminar AI, creating striking photos is both fun and surprisingly easy. Luminar AI is a standalone photo editor available for both Mac OS and Windows, but it also works as a plugin for Photoshop, Lightroom Classic, and photos for Mac OS. I want to walk you through some of the amazing things that it can do. When you first launch Luminar, you need to add some images. Just click the plus button and you can open up a single photo or add an entire folder. I'll choose a folder here and add it. Luminar instantly scans the folder and brings all the images in ready to edit. If you look, all the organization you did is also automatically preserved. Let's take a look at one of the best technologies in Luminar AI, and that's templates. Templates are starting points that get you going on the right path. They're suggestions that are based upon an analysis of the image. So let's take a look here. When I open this up and choose templates, it scans the image, and in the For This Photo section, makes a suggestion. You're free to then click and easily find new creative options. When you go to the next image and you go back to, it scans it and makes a suggestion. We switch to a landscape photo. When it opens up the image, it scans it and looks at what's in the photo. Luminar AI is able to recognize thousands of types of things in a photograph, so it can make suggestions on how you edit. Here, it sees easy landscape, and with one click, I could bring out nice clean light. I'm free to adjust this with a single slider to easily refine the look and get exactly what I want. Or if I want, I can click edit and I'm free to customize. Further enhancing the image with easy to use tools. As we switch to the next photo and we go back to templates, it's gonna scan the image and in for this photo, make a recommendation. All right, let's go ahead and put this into practice. I'm going to take a picture here that looks great. There's so many things about this picture I like. Good drama in the sky, great photo overall, wonderful scenery, but we could bring this to life. With templates, it scans it and recognizes it as a landscape. But I'm also free to choose. Maybe I want to go to overcast here and just bring out the sky a little bit. I'll try dynamic results, and you see that it's able to instantly improve the scene. I'm free to continue to work on this, so with the edit controls, I can go ahead and easily enhance the exposure or the sky. I could use smart contrast to improve the contrast in the scene without changing the color. It's just so simple and you can refine the image. I see something though that looks a little bit distracting, so let's zoom in here. This mountain range is there, but it kind of throws off the balance in the image. So with my erase tool, it's possible to just paint it out. And just paint over the object that I don't want, making a good selection here. And then with just a click, Luminar analyzes the surrounding pixels and comes up with entirely new ones. It's able to look at what was nearby and generate all new pixels to remove the object. And you see that the mountain is removed. Let's use Composition AI here, and we can also improve the crop of the photo. It analyzes the scene and makes a suggestion. In this case, using the rule of thirds. I'm also free to take that tighter crop, but slightly reposition. And with just a click, it perfectly levels the horizon. You see how easy that was. This is the benefit of Luminar AI, the ability to quickly get to your creative vision with less work. All right, here's that before and after, and you can see what a great improvement that is. Now, you've seen templates in use for a landscape, but let's try it out for a completely different type of shoot. I had a chance to recently go in the field with Jessica Kubesi, who's a wonderful portrait photographer, and she was photographing a bridal session. Well, she wanted to go ahead and bring her images to life quickly. Let's choose a photo here and take advantage of a template. I'm gonna come down and use the Essence Collection, and she really liked Rembrandt a nice soft light. But we can go in and easily tweak this. Using the controls, I can get the perfect exposure with accent. 
I can refine the light and the contrast and even bring out that glow just a bit more, adding a touch of mystical light. And those results are really working. Now let's go ahead and select the entire shoot and we could apply the adjustments with just one click. You see there that Luminar analyzes each image and applies the correct change, getting the perfect exposure and balance for the scene. All right, now that you've seen templates in action, let's go ahead and check out how this could work with a landscape photo. We'll open up our image here and very quickly make some improvements. I want to go with a sunset and I've got lots of nice options that just bring out the color. I like Toscana here, really gentle and with that great sky replacement technology, we can improve the scene and even pick up on the lighting. I'm free to tweak this and I can go through and easily swap out the sky using some of the several ones that are built in or switch to other ones and easily get the type of image that I want. Picking up great things like the lighting in there or the ability to really refine the overall image. Let's go ahead and finesse this image just a bit with enhance, getting the perfect exposure, enhancing the sky. If I want to change my mind, that's simple. I could just click through and swap to a different sky or load my own. A couple other things here. Let's add a little bit of mood. So with Atmosphere AI, we're free to add some environmental fog. I could add that fog to the sky, like the early morning, or have it gently roll across the hills. Notice how we could bring that in, and with the depth slider, it rolls across the valley. That's because we have the ability to detect the depth of the photo. Luminar AI actually analyzes the image and can detect how deep the scene is. What's further away? What's closer to the camera? And this is amazing. This gives us complete control over that environment. And we can experiment with different types of atmosphere. All right, this is looking great. And we'll just put a little gentle glow in with soft mystical light. Now it's as simple as a copy and paste. I could take that adjustment and apply it to another image. And it instantly takes on those properties. But I'm free to refine it. So if I feel like that atmosphere should just be tweaked a little bit, maybe not quite as light and just a little less, well, that's super simple. And you see how easy it is to adapt the adjustments from one photo to another. But Luminar AI is also a great team player. Let's switch on into Photoshop here and take advantage of its tools. I'll click Auto and you see it makes the image look a bit better. But I know there's more here. I'll open up this image into Photoshop and I can now take advantage of Luminar AI as a smart filter. We'll choose Filter, Skylum Software, and Luminar AI. It hands off the image from Photoshop into Luminar. And at the same time, it also scans that image and looks for things that it can improve. It identified this as a landscape. So I'm going to click on in and see some of my choices. Let's try this nice clean light. That looks good. Snowfall. And you see how easy it is to audition perfect options. Sunset. Long exposure. I like the clean light option. In fact, I can mark that as a favorite if it's one I like to use in the future. Now I'll click on into edit because remember, templates are starting points. I easily see what suggestions have been made. The little dot tells me the tools already in use. I could further enhance the exposure in the sky. I can remove some of that color cast to get nice white fluffy clouds and perfect snow. Or bring out the warm light using our golden hour tool to get perfect sunlight. I feel like it's really come to life here, but there's an area that's just a touch dark for my liking. I'm going to take our local masking tools and I could easily brush that in. Using a paintbrush or a simple gradient, I could just select an area that I want to tweak. And now it's super simple to lift up that exposure and put in a little more warm light. Now we're all done and I click the apply button and it's handed right back to Photoshop. I can continue to work in Photoshop or easily jump back into Luminar with just a double click. Let's look at that change there. There's the after result and the before and you see what a huge improvement Luminar is to bring out those details. 
But Luminar isn't just for the landscape photographer, it's also great for pictures of people. The AI technology solves so many problems. Let's switch back to Luminar and we'll go to some more photos from Jessica Kubesi. Here we had a wonderful session with our model and I love the drama, the lighting and the moodiness, but I just want to bring out a few details. Let's zoom to 100% and jump right into the edit module. What I'll do here is take advantage of our portrait tools. Face light finds our subject's face and lets us fill in just the light there. I can enhance the eyes, brightening them, putting in a gentle flare underneath, and pulling out the dark circles or the shadows, thickening the eyebrows, sharpening the details, pulling out any unwanted area. Now let's go ahead and see that before and after, and you see what a nice but subtle change that is. Let's go to skin here, and we can gently smooth over some of the minor imperfections in the skin, or cut down on the shine. And you see that this is just a tremendous fix. Maybe you want the lips to be a touch darker. Well, it can find them and easily let you tweak them, and you see that we get a great image. Jump on over to the main controls here, and it's super simple. Get the perfect exposure, or add a little bit of structure for details. Structure AI is able to recognize details in the scene, but not add them where you don't need them. So the skin does not get unwanted texture. We could add or subtract detail in the background while still keeping our perfect portrait. That looks great. We'll put a little vignette on for mood, and we can even feather that. And what we'll do now is reuse it. So I could take all of the images from that entire part of the shoot and just synchronize it. And Luminar AI is able to adapt the adjustments, making each photo look its best, using the one that I started with as a guide, but using artificial intelligence to analyze the image and the scene and choose the best results based upon my desire. That's really working quite nicely. Now, let's take a look at another example of Luminar working with a photo. We're going to take a look at some more pictures from Dan and Shell. In this case, we had some great outdoor images of a young couple in love. And what we want to do here is really bring this image to life. Remember, templates are designed to save you time. So, I could choose them and really add some simple changes. Fashionista or flawless. And you see how easy it is to bring that image to life. I like the warmth of fashionista. Let's go in here to edit, and we can easily solve challenges. Putting in a little bit of light there to bring out their faces because there's a lot of shadow and harsh sunlight. Going in and gently cutting down on the shine because they're outdoors on a hot day. Maybe I see a distraction, like this unwanted reflection back there. Well, that erase tool makes it easy to brush out things that you don't want in your picture. Just paint over them. And with one click, Luminar analyzes the photo and removes the distracting objects. We can go into composition and get a better crop. It analyzes the photo and suggests that maybe we could be a touch tighter. Plus, we can straighten the photo for a perfect horizon. That image looks so much better and it was so fast and easy to get there. And remember, you could take that adjustment and just copy and paste it to other photos that need it, quickly bringing the scene to life. This technology is really gonna change the way that you work, and we want you to be able to use it how you need it. So if you're a Mac user, it works right inside of Photos for Mac OS. Let's go ahead and click the Auto button here, and Photos for Mac OS made a nice improvement, but I could still take advantage of Luminar. So I'll jump in here to edit, and just choose to use Luminar AI. It's going to analyze the photo and hand it off to Luminar for further editing. You see that it scans the photo, and in this case, it suggests that maybe a black and white photo would look really good for this scene. But I can also explore other looks, like experimental, and see very quick options that are really kind of cool. Let's go back, though, and try those classic monochromes. Elegant matte, soulful. I really like that. Let's go into edit now and I'm free to tweak. So if I want the sky to be a little darker, I can just pull down the blue sliders, and you see how easy that is. Or maybe I want a gentle vignette. 
Well, I can go ahead and put that in on the scene. Use Structure AI and easily get proper detail. Or Accent. And you remember that great face light technology? Watch how amazing this is. It's able to still find the face and light it up, but not the hair. It still knows exactly where the face is. Now it hands it back off to my photos from macOS library and even synchronizes back to my phone so I could share this photo the next time I'm together with the subject. Look at that, what a great classic look. Let's take a look at one more AI technology today. I'll switch back to Luminar AI and I want to show you how easy it is to use AI to make minor improvements, to make your subject look their best. With our body AI technology, it can easily see potential issues. So we've got a photo here and maybe the camera angle is not so flattering or it's a wide angle lens and there's a little bit of unwanted distortion. Well, we could jump right in. Let's use templates here and try flawless. It applies a simple fix, gently improving all aspects of the photo. There we go. And you can see with that before and after, great color, but also a gentle slim. And with the edit module here, we can go into portrait and body AI and easily add bulk or subtract just to sculpt the figure into the shape that they want. And you've got the same great technology here with a little bit of face slimming. This gives you wonderful controls to just give it the results that you want or that your subject needs. And you could do it in a gentle, natural way. I hope you've enjoyed this in-depth look at Luminar AI. We're really excited about it and we hope you are too. Luminar AI is designed to give you new options, help you explore your creativity, solve problems and get great results in less time. This will free up precious time that you could spend with your family or more time taking pictures. Be sure to check out Luminar AI and thanks for joining us today.